This is the little engine that I call Pioneer. It's a non-compression internal combustion engine. By that I mean that it is firing a mixture of fuel and air which is not compressed. This el eliminates the compression stroke, so essentially this is a two-stroke cycle engine. The fuel that it's burning is a Coleman Lantern fuel. It runs just as well on um, regular unleaded gasoline. I prefer the Coleman Lantern fuel because it uh, smells a little better than gasoline and the exhaust smells a little better also. This is a natural running speed for this engine. It does not have a governor. Because it's running with uh, a non-compression system and it's running on a two-stroke cycle, it does not have to have a separate camshaft to operate the valves. It has standard poppet valves, but as you can see for the engine running, all three of the cams are directly on the crankshaft. This is the exhaust cam, this is the inlet cam, and on this side is the breaker cam. It uses a spark plug, which is operated by high tension, just the same as your lawnmower engine or your, uh, your automobile engine. I have a uh, six volt motorcycle battery, which is operating a spark coil and condenser. And that's the system on which this little engine is running. It's quite unusual because it does not have the compression stroke. It's rather a chilly, windy day here today. And you notice the speed of the engine is increasing. And I'm able to adjust the fuel mixture so that it's a little more lean. That's because the engine is warming up. It started out quite cold this morning. This little engine is one that I built from my own design. It is completely finished and in a little while we're going to go inside and I'm going to show you a second engine which I will show you the pieces and I will show you how that engine is all assembled and what you have to do to get it ready for running.